Now, this is the first episode, so please bear with me, and without further ado, I'm going to let this thing play. I will put pointers on the screen if anything changes, or just to let you guys know about anything that I may have missed. So, let's get started. So, for each clip, I will try to include a GoPro brake hand cam, so you can see how the brake hand works during specific tricks. But since this is the first episode, we're going to focus on the three basic things that almost anyone getting into bikes is going to look at and want to learn. First up being your balance point. Now, you probably heard your bike friends yell at you all the time about finding your balance point if you're ever going to learn to wheelie, and it's the truth. Your balance point is the point in which all weight cancels out at a single spot and don't be afraid to correct me in the comments if i'm wrong by the way seriously so what does this mean for you well it means you need to find the point at which you can comfortably pedal with your wheel in the air and tap your brakes so you don't fall and leave brain fragments on the asphalt so let's look at the clip of one way edward demonstrating the usage of his balance point So this is pretty basic and it doesn't need a whole lot of explanation, but your balance point changes depending on the trick you're doing and the bike you're on as well as many other factors. So it's important that you know how your center of gravity works based on where you are on the bike. Now, what if you're like, oh, I listened to your video and I still can't balance. Any tips? <laughs> of course there are. So tip number one is simply to tilt your seat forward if you have not done that already. Tilting your seat helps because when you wheelie, it straightens out, giving you a flat surface to rest your bottom on. However, don't tilt it too much because you don't want the seat going in your bottom when you're riding on two wheels. I learned that the hard way. Pause. Tip number two is to raise or lower your seat accordingly. Now, when you raise your seat, it makes the bike significantly easier to pick up in combination with a tilted seat that makes wheeling a hundred times easier. Back in the day when we all rode on 20 inches, you would not believe how high our seats were. It was ridiculous. If I can find an old picture, I will throw it up on the screen right here. But if not, then oh well. Tip number three is to adjust your handlebars and the brake lever. Adjusting your handlebars is crucial. You may need to push them back or forward and that all depends on your preference. Along with that, if your brake lever strains your fingers to pull, try tilting it up a little bit and see if it provides better comfort. You should be able to keep grip on your grips regardless of how sweaty your hands ever get. And before we move on from the most crucial part in wheeling, understand that height, weight, and bike size also affect where your balance point will be. All right, so pretty basic. That's how some of these episodes are gonna be going. I still got a bunch of stuff to add in. Eventually, I'll find a nice little balance, hopefully. Um, there's gonna be plenty of more stuff to add in to be talked about, of course, which is gonna be things like wind speed to take into account, uh, you know, different weather, how, how would snow affect you or how would rain affect you. So there's plenty of things to talk about. Um, but yeah, drop a comment. Let me know if you guys liked it. And let me know if I should change anything. Let me know if I should add anything. And keep dropping comments on what tricks you want to see broken down. Not only is this to help you guys learn new tricks and learn how to, well, yeah, learn new tricks and learn how to do these tricks, but it's also to educate you guys so that you can know, you know, if you're going too fast and there's 15 mile per hour winds out, you come in between a gap of a building and a gust of wind comes out, you know, you could fall and you could break something. You know, stuff like that many people don't think about. So that's what I'm here for. But uh, yeah, like I said, just drop comments. Let me know what tricks you want to see broken down. Let me know if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And I'm going to try to drop these bike life science videos like once a week. Like I'm really going to get on the ball with this. I'm going to get shirts made. I'm going to get shirts made. I know too many people keep asking me, Bloom, when are you going to get shirts made? I will set that up. And at the end of the videos, I will link where you can grab some. So, yeah. Other than that, peace out.